name's uh, Phil Healy. I'm a police constable for the British Transport Police on the dog section. And uh, this is uh, Mojo. He's an explosive search uh, dog that's uh, now retired. Yeah, having uh, had him for um, so long and given that the role that we have, we put a lot of faith in each other. As we first got him and we told that we're having a border collie, thinking, what do I want a sheep dog for? And basically for all his career, all we've had is come by, come by, until he starts working. And then it doesn't half change people's opinions of how well that he could work. And you can see the way he feels, he can work how I feel. He is basically part of you, he is part of the, the shadow, basically. Yeah, on the uh, night of the Manchester bomb, we'd actually been searching during the daytime and we'd finished, come back home, and I was told then that there wasn't another movement till the following evening, so I could stand down. I've literally just sat down, had something to eat, and at that point then, we have a, a group uh, WhatsApp, and a message comes through that there's been an explosion at the Manchester Arena. That was when I then contacted our control room, booked on, and then just literally flew into Manchester. As you've driven in, you're listening on the radio, you're hearing, and you know there's fatalities. You know that there's multiple casualties. So you're building yourself up to walk into a scene, and as there's a possibility that there was a secondary device that hadn't gone off, that had to be searched. So we then moved from the concourse area up into the city rooms which is where the device was uh, detonated and that's where you get your first sign of what you've really moved into. It's something that people have asked over the time you know well what did you think what did you feel and it's like well nothing you didn't understand it it's something that you can't put into to words as being this is what it was like but then that's where the professionalism kicked in and we knew we had a job to do. Your heart's racing, your, your mind's doing everything that you've, your training's told to do. And he picks up on it. We say it goes up and down the lead. Mojo then started to respond differently. And as soon as we started searching, you could tell that he didn't want to go forward to, um, to, his, uh, to start searching at first. I couldn't have asked for anything more on the night. His professionalism kicked in and he started working around. I mean, he had to go and search up close to casualties, fatalities. About three days later, that was when you suddenly sat down and thought, I've just gone looking for, uh, uh, actively looking for a bomb that probably could have been, you know, been there. And that's when it hit me. As far as Mojo, within about three or four days, you could see that he was starting to just flag a bit. So he was given supplements, we'd taken him to the vets and just checked that he was okay. Because bear in mind, he's been in, in amongst all the explosives, he's ingested everything that's there by, um, when he's doing his sm smelling. So we've checked him out and he was fine, but he did start to lose some of his fur, which was down the side of his, his side and across the back. But again, through treatment, medication, we then were able to uh, get him through and uh, build him back up. You can see in his face that within 14 months, how he has aged in his face. Um, he's gone quite grey around the, uh, the muzzle and everything else. So it has taken its toll on him. He's been through a, a traumatic situation, same as we have, and that's why they allowed him to uh, retire early. It was quite a surprise really to uh, be told that I've been put forward for the award for the PDSA. So then to actually then be told that he'd been given the order of merit having been in the, the dog world and know quite a lot about the, the awards and to know how highly they are regarded. It was just strange because theoretically I was doing something on the night that we trained for, not expecting this. So to actually be given the PDSA award is just, uh, it's just at the top of the, at the pinnacle of the, uh, his career, he's gone out, he's done the work that he wanted to do and to be recognised for what he's done is just amazing.
he means everything to me. I put a lot of faith in him, and it's only right that, given everything he did for me on the night, I look after him.